Today's class, I am going to discuss about how to write the very large HDL program for CMOS inverter. So, previous video, we discussed some basic things related to switch level modeling like MOS switches, CMOS switches, and bidirectional switches, power and supply. So, these things we discussed in previous video. Kindly refer the video, then only you understand this concept. So, today's topic switch level very low code for CMOS inverter. So, before writing the program, first I draw the CMOS inverter circuit. So, this CMOS inverter circuit it consists of two transistors PMOS transistor and MOS transistor. So, e in input is referred in, so it is the output PMOS transistor connect to VDD and MOS transistor connect to VSS. So, VDD refer PWR and VSS refer ground. So, it is a simple CMOS inverter cycle. Now, I am going to write the Verilog HDL code for uh, this CMOS inverter. As usual, you first write module, then module name, inverter. So, in this circuit, we have a two variables in and out. So, out and in. Then, I declare the input variables and output variables. So, input input is in then output output is out then declare the supply 1 and supply 0 so supply 1 so supply 1 refer PW or power then supply 0 it refer ground G and D so it refer ground then here we are using two transistor PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor so declare the instantiation PMOS P1 so output is out out then PWR and in PWR and in so in this PMOS transistor output and PWR in so these two are considered as the input this one is the output then come to NMOS transistor so keyword is NMOS then M1 out here ground and in ground and in then in module so it's a switch level Verilog port for CMOS inverter. So first we write module, module name, then out, in. So after that declaration of input variable and output variable. So supply 1 refer power, supply 0 refer ground, PMOS transistor. So P1 out, comma PWR in and NMOS transistor out, ground and in. So now I am going to write the test bench code for this CMOS inverter. So as usual you write module, then module name, test inverter. So test inverter is the module name. So already I told input variable declare as register, output variable declare as wire. So here input variable is in, reg in, then output variable declare as wire. So wire out. So after that declaration of instantiations. So in this very large HDL code the module name is inverter. So this module name is reflect here. Inverter then device under test then dot in in comma dot out out then initial Begin. So initially this input value is set to be 0. So in equal to 0. So initially the input value set to be 0. Then after 10 nanoseconds, so this value change from 0 to 1. In equal to 1. Then after 10 nanoseconds, in value goes to 0. 
so 1 to 0 then n n module so n and n module this is the test bench very of SQL code for CMOS inverter I hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thanks for watching my channel thank you